the deals with Japan's Kli and Taiwan Mobile allow their subscribers to use Comcast with the hotspots when they travel to the United States, reducing the international roaming charges that they would otherwise have to pay, according to a Comcast spokesman. And Comcast has been steadily building out its Wi-Fi network and said last week that it aims to have 8 million hotspots by the end of the year, covering 19 of the 30 largest U.S. cities. The No. 1 U.S. cable company is also seeking U.S. regulatory approval to buy Time Warner Cable Link, which now has 34,000 Wi-Fi hotspots. And if the merger is approved, the combined company would have a nationwide footprint that could potentially challenge the dominance of U.S. telecom giants Verizon Communications Inc. and AT&T Inc., an idea that Comcast floated in an April 8 regulatory filing touting the deal's benefits. And since that filing, investors have been trying to figure out what Comcast and other cable companies might be planning to do in the mobile market. The topic came up frequently in the latest round of quarterly earnings calls. And cable is well positioned to enter the wireless voice and data market with costs that are lower than those of existing wireless carriers, New Street Research analyst Jonathan Chaplin said. This could be truly disruptive, with grave implications for new entrants and established wireless carriers alike. And Comcast has adopted a more cautious tone. We view Wi-Fi and cellular as complementary. There are many different situations and applications where consumers may prefer one or the other, said Tom Nagel, Comcast's senior vice president and general manager of wireless services. And Comcast has not disclosed how much it is charging Kli and Taiwan Mobile in these deals, which were signed earlier this year. The amounts are thought to be small since Wi-Fi data fees are typically much lower than wireless data charges. And a representative for Taiwan Mobile confirmed the Comcast partnership and directed Reuters to a website promoting the offer to its subscribers. The website said subscribers normally pay $2 for per minute, 13 cents minute, to use Comcast Wi-Fi, but a promotion lasting until the end of June this year cuts the $2 to a minute. 7 cents minute. And a representative for Kli did not immediately respond to a request for comment. And mobile internet and U.S. pay TV and phone companies are casting around for new business models amid skyrocketing growth in mobile internet use. Satellite TV provider Dish Network Corporation has spent billions of dollars on wireless spectrum and DirecTV is working with financial advisors on a possible merger with AT&T. And even though cable Wi-Fi networks are a potential competitor to wireless networks, Comcast Snagel said he believes cable and telecom companies could partner to make sure customers' devices can more easily move between their networks. And one day it should be that Sprint or any wireless carrier and Comcast can identify each other's devices and networks. For example, Sprint's device finds a Comcast access point and says he, I think I can get on your network, Nagel said. And building a wireless network from scratch is something cable companies considered over the past few years but never committed to due to the high costs involved. And one advantage cable companies have is a large amount of fiber wire in the ground, known as backhaul, which they already rent out to wireless companies to handle data traffic. And while cable companies had bought and sold wireless spectrum before, analysts say the quickest way for a cable company to get into the cellular market would be to rent airwaves from wireless companies through a mobile virtual network operator agreement, or MBNO. Such an agreement would give cable companies wireless cover for areas outside the range of Wi-Fi. And New Street Research estimates that Comcast, which already has no agreements with Verizon and Sprint, could capture about 6% of the retail wireless market within five years after its acquisition of Time Warner Cable. N, 1 US dollar equals T dollar 30.14 N, reporting by Liana B. Baker, additional reporting by Marina Lopes in New York and Michael Gold in Taipei, editing by Tiffany Wah.